everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCart. And today I'm back to do something that I'm a little more familiar with again, and it's a tray. Now this tray I've already resined in and I hated it. So I'm coming back to do a regular paint pour in it because that's really what I like to do. <laughs> so what I have here are my colors, and I've had the same colors color palette from a coaster set I made that I really loved. So I'm trying to get through these paints. Right here I have a, a pearl sea green. So this is my consistency. Like a two to three second trace. Um, so this is from Arteza. This is TLP Aspen. It's a, a mica powder. This is a combination of a lot of Pebio iridescent green now, Prism Pores Fandango and Arteza's Pearl Pastel Green. I'm trying to burn through that. This is a pearl made with golden and, uh, what is it made of? Golden and Amsterdam. So this is a pearl made of golden and Amsterdam. This is an unidentified blue. I'm not sure what it is. And this here is Payne's Gray, which is a combination of golden and Arteza. So with that, I'm going to get my pillow down. I have no gloves on today because I want to be able to feel and not have any paint uh, uh, to get around uh, because I'm working in this wood tray. I don't have it taped because uh, I don't need to tape it, I've realized, over time. And so, yeah, I'm going to get down here. I'm going to blow it out with my Berta on high and cool, and we're going to see what we get. All right, I'll get you down in a minute. Okay, let the paint commence. Stop there. Let's see where we are. Actually, having a couple of paper towels is always good. Let's tilt this out a little bit. And I've got air bubbles. Whoops, don't want to go that far. A little too high over there. All right, now, uh, my usual little pattern, which works, so I stay with it. So in a second here, I'm gonna pick up the pace as I'm laying out the colors. You can see what I'm doing, and it'll just reduce the length of this video. I'll flash up the colors as we go. So here I'm just preparing my cell activator by stirring it before I get ready to lay it on and blow it out. And this is my American Floetrol cell activator. And the video for that creation video is 141 if you want to take a look at it. I'm going to go back to real time when I get ready to blow this out. Let's get this on. Step stool. 
high and cool. I blow this out I'm trying to fan it and kind of blow it in a fan motion and if I have a spot that's not cooperating and doesn't want to really blow very easily I'll just wait until the end and I will go back in and blow it out either with a straw or my mouth I don't want to fight it and end up making a mess and going into the pillow and this last blowout here I'm not happy with at all and after watching this video a couple times I have a theory that I'll share at the end so in these last moments here, I'm debating whether to go back in and give it a blow or just let it go, and I decide to let it go. And find that trying to get that center cross piece to blow out is very challenging sometimes. The ends are easy, but that middle is not so easy. So here I'm just adding a little more cell activator to blow out over the other colors and hopefully get some nice pretty cells. I often see the initial blowout is just the basic foundation and from there you just build it into what you want it to be. may have been my worst blowout ever. Since these videos with trays and Lazy Susans are often longer, I will have to be cutting out some as we go forward. And I have to think long and hard about using a straw and usually want to use it in a very specific location where it's a small blowout. Sometimes when you blow with that straw, it does not create a nice fan shape. So my whole intent here is to just get the composition where I'm happy with it so then I can start to play with the palette knife. But I want to just get the shape of this blowout the way I want it. Then play with the palette knife and also spread the paint to the end and the corners. Okay, I'm gonna need more pillow. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to play with this quite a bit. I'm losing my edge here. And I have to think that painting on this resin piece has made a big difference, I think, in the way this all spreads. It just didn't wanna go. I don't know if I can fairly say it's the resin or not. I'm going to skip and jump ahead while I'm spreading out the paint to the edges. Okay, I think we're done. Oof. All right, now palette knife time. Palette knife. Let's just... Easy stretch. Pull you 
guys. This right through here is not good. I gotta do something about that. I gotta add some color or something in there. Let's, uh, let's add some sea glass. So all I'm doing here is just adding a little dab of color so that I'll drag it through where it needs a little extra color in the piece. So as we continue to progress here, I'm going to cut out a lot of where I clean the palette knife and skip out anything that's not pertinent. So just another tip and reminder, as you're pulling your palette knife through the paint and you're about ready to pull it out, let the paint release on its own and let it snap back on its own versus trying to just pull it out because you're not going to get a clean break from the paint if you just yank it out. So I just want to point out here, I'm really having fun with swiping and using the palette knife and learning how to direct it in different ways to get different effects. It's amazing what these little lines do to the entire idea. A little bit of stretching. Uh, let's get out the straw for a minute. You really can use the straw to blow and shape a section. See how you just shape that a little bit? Now that I've got this to a point. So I figured out what the problem is with this section. I put the black cell activator too far to the end, and that's why there's so much black on the end. So lesson learned, and just watching back a video helps you. You can go back in and see for yourself how far I uh, took it. I'm not liking this. But I like what's on here better than was on this tray before. So everyone, that's a wrap. Here's the final resin piece. Not my proudest of creations, but it's all right. I'm happy with it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. A thumbs up would be nice and I would especially like to hear what you think with a comment. And at the end of the video, I will have a link to other serving tray playlists if you wanna see other color combinations and other creations. So thank you for tuning in and we'll see you again next time. Till then, everybody take care.